Are you struggling with acne? Well, before you run out and buy expensive lotions and potions, let's see if nutrition can come to the rescue. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So in today's video, I'd like to share with you some pointers on helping out with acne. We get quite a few people that come to see us specifically just for this. I mean, people can see this happening on your skin and a lot of people obviously are very concerned about their appearance. So we get a lot of demand to help people out with acne. Now, generally we treat people with nutrition with this and we get very good results. Some of the things that we first start out with is looking at the health of the gut. A lot of your health comes from the integrity of your gut. So if you're having any type of gut issues, whether you know it or not, this could affect the quality of your skin as well. So getting straight on that is really useful. One common condition is called leaky gut, where undigested proteins cross over the epithelial cells and cause immune reactions in your body, which can lead to food sensitivities and all kinds of other issues long-term down the line. But acne could be one of them. So you could be reacting to simply a food that you're eating on a regular basis and don't even know it. So one thing you can do is try to do an elimination diet where you start writing down foods that you're eating, see if you can identify possible triggers, then you could start taking out potentially harmful foods such as sugar, grains, uh, gluten, and dairy, and things like that. Take them out for about three to four weeks, see if your skin improves, and then if you want to see which food it is that you're reacting to, you could slowly reintroduce the foods one at a time. So this is very common that somebody is reacting to a certain food. So that's one reason why. Also, if you do have a leaky gut, there are supplements that you could take to help with that too. Also, you could eat probiotic rich foods. That's a great way to restore the integrity of the gut, or you could take certain supplements. I'll get to that in another video. But in any case, the integrity of the gut is very useful to look at with skin conditions. So next is hormonal issues. Obviously people experience um, acne during their teenage years and then women before their periods. So there definitely are hormonal reasons involved. But again, that usually comes down to an issue with nutrition and the gut. So if you're suffering, say for example, from acne around your period, it could be that the excess estrogen that you have in your body isn't clearing properly and you're getting acne as a result. So in this case, again, if you look to nutrition, you can take either certain supplements for that, or you can eat foods that will help clear estrogen more efficiently out of your body. The number one food to do that would be the cruciferous family. The cruciferous foods include broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale. This entire family of vegetables is really excellent for clearing out the liver and removing excess estrogen from the body. In our clinic, we have a product called Cruciferous Complete plus a few other products from Standard Process that also help take out the excess estrogen from the body. And that's also very useful for the skin. So again, it comes down to nutrition and diet. Now, another thing that will affect your hormones in a negative way, if you have too much sugar in your diet or things that turn into sugar, then you might wind up producing too many androgens, okay? Things like testosterone. That can also cause excess acne, especially in women. So again, you wanna clean up the diet, remove the excess sugar, concentrate on eating whole foods, quality proteins, and vegetables. Last but definitely not least, something could be missing from your diet. You could be suffering from nutritional deficiencies. Basically, everyone is suffering from nutritional deficiencies to some degree, and that's what's causing the vast majority of all health concerns. It's usually not getting too much of a micronutrient, it's missing a micronutrient. Micronutrients include vitamins, minerals, and essential fatty acids. So one of the common deficiencies that we see is vitamin A on the vitamin side. One of the most common mineral deficiencies that we see is zinc and then also omega-3 fatty acid deficiencies is common as well. So all three of these can contribute to acne issues. The, the remedy, of course, is to eat foods that are rich in these particular things. Animal products, believe it or not, have a lot of quality vitamin A, 
zinc, and of course, omega-3 fatty acids. So make sure you're getting organic, grass-fed, pasture-raised, like the good stuff. Don't be eating the cheap stuff when it comes to any animal products. It's very important that you get the best quality that you can. Vegetables are important too, but animal products are very, very high in nutrients. Let's not forget that. So eating a variety of foods, quality foods, is really important to get the nutrients that you need. Now, if you need specific recommendations for supplements, get in touch with us. We can give you a full evaluation and give you a, an individualized program. That's what we do. We work with people one-on-one -on -one because there's no one program or diet or nutritional supplements that are right for everyone. Everyone is biologically different. So get in touch if you want to work with us. Again, acne basically comes down to cleaning up the diet and cleaning up the gut. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need any help or have any questions or comments, please let us know and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.